Hi, dorks. I'm here now. Sorry, that took a minute. Uh, hi. Uh, this, uh, this, this is Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> um, I have nothing to say. So we're just gonna play a video game. Hooray! Um, Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> we were digging too deep for our own good. And of course, now I'm warm. Temperature's been in like too too warm for sweaters, too cold for short sleeve kind of a situation. So existence is discomfort. Anyway, what's going on in here? We had we had lots of things happen. We had oh a lot of people die. Um, we never did build cage traps here, did we? That was one one of those thoughts that, like, as you're going to bed, did don't remember. But we had we had a demon come out of here. It came from. Uh, it looks like this one. Yeah, interesting. So we were digging, we were digging here, and we uncovered a thing, and then it came up, and then it must have just gone straight through, and it went up. I went that way. So I didn't cross over any traps or anything. And I was mostly wanting to know if these demony creatures can avoid traps. Because I don't know. Um so I'm gonna like I built some cage traps on the other side. But not on this side, because I'm a smart person. Hi. So of course this was the side that uh, a thing came out and, and destroyed 20 dwarves, but so it goes. Uh, this is the other spot. See, there's my there's my cage traps. But we were digging this nonsense. There's just a mass of water and magma in this vertical shaft kind of a construction and all sorts of goodies hidden throughout. No. Um, I'm gonna unpause because I'm sure our fortress hates us. <laughs> we have a lot of corpses to pick up. Uh, but we're not actively digging right now. Yeah, let's go uh, here. This is where it went down. There's there's the remainder of the corpse. Um, and I think how are we on? Yes. No. Um, all of these are claimed. Whether or not people are actually buried in there yet is a different question. I look, we're gonna have a lot of tantrums today. I can say that with confidence now that we're spiraling down. How are we on miners? We have miners. We've lost some, clearly. Um, so I'll probably designate a couple more. Hammerdorf. Furnace Operator. Stonecutter's fine. Stonecutter. Try not to do too many... soldiers in there. Um, I think the rest of this is fine. Meow. But we need to place some more tombs. Like this. Um, ultimately, like I should try to open the, the stream with like what I plan to do that day or something. I don't know. Not that I ever have a real good plan. Uh, but anyway, uh, intention for today is to not uncover more demons, first of all. To not murder our mort fortress. Kind of important. Uh, but also, I want to dig in a different spot. I want to not dig in those stupid magma pooly things. 
Um, and instead, we're going to dig to the... We're basically going to do what I did in previous versions to locate adamantine. Instead of... Yeah, we're going to... There's going to be a lot of stuff. Where are we digging? We're digging here. And this is this is what I want them to dig. Okay. So we're digging straight down. Hopefully we don't hit... Uh, I don't think we're going to hit cave going through here, but I guess we'll, we'll keep an eye and see. But um, we're going to we're going to dig down below the third cave. We were digging within the, thir the third cave previously. We're going to dig below the third cave and try to map out the magma sea itself. Just so below the entire map, there's a, a layer of magma and we'll, we'll see it here quickly. Like we have this vertical shoot. This goes up into our second cave, and this is what's powering all of our magma stuff upstairs. Um, but it's an offshoot of the magma sea, which is way down below. So we'll... I mean, okay, so <laughs> there's still some levels down, but we're just gonna... We're gonna dig down to here, and I can see that there's there's magma underneath. This is the, the sea itself. Um, and if you go down further, it'll just... Like if you go down a handful of levels, it'll be nothing but but magma for the entire the entire thing. You can't go through it. But if we reveal the landscape, the the magma seas borders, I guess um, we will likely discover something nice. At least that's how it worked in previous versions. Previous versions we didn't have. Like the, the nonsense that we were working on last stream, all that uh, intermingled magma and, and water things. That's that's new. That's not a thing that existed in, in previous versions of this game. So it's kind of kind of interesting, but also terrifying and brutal. So we're gonna do we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do the thing that I kind of know a little bit better. Now, when you got that far and stopped, really two levels away. Miners. Thultig has been found dead. We're going to have a lot of those happen. Yeah, finally, <laughs> finally found that corpse. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to, put a pause on all this because clearly it's just absurdly dangerous you can you can plan around the magma itself with the magma in the water if you're smart um which we weren't we this was this was a magma thing and we dug into the side of it like a like a silly person um but then we dealt with it and if you if you dig into the magma from the top then you're fine you just kind of see it just kind of what's been happening with these but the trouble is that the the dangerous things are not inside the magma they're like adjacent to the warm stones so like like this like we can see that this tile is warm and these tiles are wet like this is nothing it's it's just it's just a tile that's adjacent to some some warm stone. And there's no way to know the difference between does it have a flying web spitting demon or some really nice pants. There's no really way to know without opening it. Which is dangerous. <laughs> Did someone No not yet. Man. Is it priority one? Um so yeah. Time to play Diamond or Demon, absolutely. Um I'm I'm gonna try to not <laughs> take too many risks today. I wanna map out this stuff down here and find the actual the actual adamantine. Or someone's just they dug like all the way down here except for the last two levels. Anyway, how are you? Happy Monday. My brain 
is not fully functional. So, that's fun. Uh, good. Like, where's all our miners? I'm tempted to put like, our, ugh, our squads are like empty. Where's, oh, hey, did our squads come back? Our squads came back. We have a report to check. Raise hatred pleats. Dip ceiling attacked the lies of prestige of the crested flies at hatred pleats. Dwarf Moral led the attack. Defenders were led by the goblin Ada Crypt Kill. Uh, tactical planning was superior to the goblin. Defenders had a slight positional advantage. Uh, Confronted the dwarf Obok. The goblin's lower lip was smashed apart by Obok. Goblin was struck down. Goblin attacked. Goblin had a tooth torn off and then was struck down. And then we killed another and then clashed with three goblins, slaying them in the late autumn of 120. Forces of Contingent Seals searched and found nothing. Rampaged. Okay. So success. Um, Hatred Pleats is this one. So it said... Previously, it said, like, about 50 for the population. Now it says about 20. So I think we have done a bit. Um, ugh, do I send them back out, or do I depend on their manpower to clean up all the corpses? I'm just going to send them back out. We need to be doing something. Um, we're going to pillage again. We're just going to pillage, since there's nothing there. Or how about like this? We'll just we'll raise. We'll we'll send a raise order and we'll take we'll take important stuff. We'll do this. We'll do that. That sounds good. Anyway. I cooked up and I have something work every day from 16th this morning until the 6th. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I forgot I had work this weekend just gone. Knew I had to work the weekend coming, but forgot. To book time off. Ugh. That's always the worst. You you like you you put in the time off request in your mind and then never actually do anything about it, and then you're like, oh crap, it's too late now. I'm lucky that right now my my working conditions or my working setup is kind of loosey goosey enough that I can I don't need I don't need to be on top of it as much, but I also don't take that much time off. Cause that's how that works. Uh yeah, larval nematode fiend. Mm-hmm. What are our... So I'm I'm actually gonna say they're all routine. I'm gonna change the routine of my two squads now that they're basically wiped off, wiped out. And I'm gonna take, put them off duty for the moment, so they can help with our labor stuff. It's true. Don't remind me. Um, I mean, we do. It's just it's not it's not legally mandated, um, federally at least. Um, the city that I'm near, I'm like just outside the city, but the city itself has uh, laws say, requiring paid time off, um, like sick time specifically. Um, but like, I'm I'm not in there no more. So yeah, but my employer is like I, my job is in the city, but my house is not. So I think it's the the C says that my employer needs to offer paid sick time. Uh, moved to Maryland and I tease him about it. Yeah, it's it's rough. I mean, even when we're like, it feels lucky to get like 
I don't know, like like two weeks of, of vacation, of like PTO a year, is like, oh wow, you're doing good. Those are quite nice benefits. And then every time I see, it comes up in the context of, of European stuff, and it's like, that's not that's nothing. That's less than the bare minimum. But right now I'm working part time, so it's not as it's not the same. Um, like putting in putting in forty hours and then just not having pipe time off ever is so brutal. I hate it. We have a grand total of six happy people. Thirty-five days, and you can just take those whenever. Like we have to fight for our sick days, let alone vacation. Like we'll we'll be like, even in in times where you'll have like legally mandated sick time. This is this is like two or three jobs ago that I'm thinking of now. But we'll we'll have like mandated sick time. But your employer is like, well, you can't take time off to be sick unless you bring us a doctor's note. It's like I'm not. I'm just. I got a flu. I'm I'm coughing. I'm not gonna go to the doctor to get a note about having a cold. So the choices are come in while you have a cold and make everyone sick and then they all have to take time off. Or like go to a freaking doctor to have the doctor be like, go to bed <laughs> and have them write you a note. And then your boss is upset at it anyway. Three weeks paid sick leave. Yeah, I mean, that's what they do, isn't it? Um, damp or warm stone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So now I just need to tell them to do this again. Uh, nope. We're digging stairs. We're doing that because all of that is warm. <laughs> yeah. I try not to be too cynical about it, but it's a bit rough these days. Dude, I wonder if people are going to pick up those fancy weapons we found. I'm intentionally not putting the, the weapons that we uncovered. I'm not putting them in our artifact stuff so that hopefully people can use them. Is that these? The, the satiny mirrors. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm personally in a in not one of the bad places. I guess I should say um, the state that I'm in is is better than others. No one's moved this one yet. You gotta, you gotta pick up the artifacts, guys. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. I think. At least it was. Um, but yeah, uh, keeping up with the news just sucks these days. This is this the Warhammer? That's a oh crossbow. Cool. We got some cool stuff here. I mean, yeah, there's there's a lot to worry about. Um We'll get an alert once we've uncovered things. Ultimately, I mean, it's just a matter of taking care of the people around you, right? You can't, you can't fix everything. You can't make everything fine all in one go, but you, you, you pick your battles and you, you help out where you can. You, you play to your strengths. That's, that's all you can do. Got a cat. 
Excellent. Yes. Fluffy doesn't care about politics. Easily satisfied. If you have an easily, easily satisfied cat, then you are very lucky. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. She's... Our cats are... Easily taken care of. We're never satisfied. <laughs> Did you get a um like an adult cat or did you get a kitten? Yeah, that food equals happy. Um Jezebel's one of Jezebel's things is she needs to be like watched while she eats, I guess. She'll she'll have dry food in the little bowl as we're in bed, and then will wake me up at 4 a.m. and I have to walk over and like pat her on the butt. I'm like, okay, and then she eats and then she's fine. But if I'm not up to, like, watch her eat, then it's a problem. Very cool. Yeah. Rescue's the best. Yeah, I imagine that's the... what the... what it is. They're using this stairwell a lot, aren't they? We'll, we'll design better fortresses in the future. Or not. <laughs> well, I wanted to, like, engrave all the bedrooms. Okay. Did you all... How are you all doing? You're, you're getting there. Oh, come on. I feel like I should at least assign a leader. We have no one who is good at anything anymore. Uh, no relevant skills. Here. Novice Spearedorf, you can lead a squad. No, not you. Not you. You are fine. I mostly just want them to grab equipment. I think he's seven. They say he was about five when we got him two years ago. Bit feisty, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, getting a... Getting a new critter at seven years old is... I mean, that's that's like a... They, they're an established cat, right? They got all their personality. When we got Jezebel, she was just... A little fluff. But yeah, like a, like a seven-year-old, there's all... There's all sorts of junk up up in there already, right? Uh, oh, thank you. Jezebel and Sybil are the two. And Sybil, I did not. I can't take claim for Sybil. My partner named Sybil before, uh, before we were together. Who wants to be a soldier? None of you. Uh, sure. It's at least 10 people in the squads. <laughs> and not much else to be said there. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, did we... Nope, okay. And then I need to... <laughs> yes. Just dig... A hole in the ground. Okay. To attach to a steel shield, that's fine. How are we on? Oh, and we lost our duke, didn't we? 
Oh, but we have a, a count. Our count is traveling. Interesting. Or did I? Uh, is our new count in our squad, Zephon? No. Interesting. I wonder if a new count is coming to us. We find we lost our duke. Our duke has been around for so long. I already had Macedon. I want to switch from the cursed bird. Don't know many people in there. Yeah, I mean that's that's exactly what I did. Um, I I've had a Twitter account for years and just never even looked at it. It's just it's it's sits sat there and I don't even like I don't even passively use Twitter. It's just it's been a dead account sitting there for so long, so I finally deleted it. Um, and I want to, like, use Mastodon, but I'm so... I'm bad at social media. So I don't... Yeah, I don't know anyone... I, I followed um, George Takei and Neil Gaiman, and I think that's about it. <laughs> um, but they're both on there. I mostly like the idea, like, I know there's a bunch of Twitter clones at this point, but I like the idea of Macedon being, it's distributed. Like, if one, no one group of it can can hijack the rest in theory and, and make it awful. If something terrible happens, you can just ignore, like, a, a server, I guess. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've revealed some things. Working communications need to get our work to set up on there, yeah. Ooh, fire snake. Okay. So then we'll sometimes get alerts. I don't see any alerts for adamanting in here, but we've we've uncovered like all these walls. Um, and this will also go like up and down, so like you can see you can see a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that means we're gonna want to let's let's book down into a, a couple different holes here, um, and also build a floor. Confirm. Just to seal that up. Don't get, want any fire snakes creeping up. Um, and then we want to reveal. I want to reveal a couple spots. Uh, so... So like here, we only see up this high. We don't, we're not seeing anything on this level, but I think that's more to do with the distance of our vision and less to do with the structure of the magma. So I'm, I don't trust this level. Well, I guess we could always just dig and see where the warm stone is. And go up from there. That's not a bad idea. Um, but if we do... Like, let's do this. Just... Like, that's basically guaranteed to hit something if the sea is higher than here. So it'll just be a warm stone cancellation, and we'll ignore it. Um, but we can also, like here, so there's a spot here that we can we can tell that there's no magma here, but there is magma right below it. So we can just dig, do like over here. We'll do there, and then there. Now, none of this is Wormstone, or at least a lot of it isn't. And then I'll just come over here and do like that. And that will reveal a little more. And then, where else can we...
There's... Mm -hmm. Here we go. Or, or over here, even. Let's do... What am I hearing? Oh, they're all being bad at placing coffins. That's fine. Uh, so then we'll dig there. And that will also reveal a little. Oh, and we're saving. Okay. And we're crashing. Neat. I hope that didn't screw up anything. I haven't crashed in quite a while. Are we cursed now? We've unlocked the curse. Cross your fingers. Okay, well, clearly haven't lost that much. Uh, if we go... Here, let's... Yeah, let's go like... I can check this. Are these... Nope. Okay. We've lost... Uh, well, it's only 30 minutes worth of doing nothing. Yeah, this didn't get dug. Ugh. Okay. Everything's fine. It's fine. Dakos is throwing a tantrum again. Well then, um, let's redo this. I'm gonna make them off duty. They're still raiding. Um, and what was it? We made some more miners. Carpenter, farmer, stone cutter. It's probably fine. I don't need that many smiths, but I'm also like, I don't want to lose them. So there's going to be smiths. A bunch of engravers, too. At least one legendary engraver. Anyone going for it? Not yet. Oh, okay. It's the same person, even. Oh, I guess we should check our caves, too. This was also a thing. We were like literally one square away from being able to finish this off. So that's that's cool at least. Um, and there's that all got done. When I was gonna flood like this, that's right. Is this ready? We're still waiting on this. Waiting on one thing in 12 places. You're all on off duty, right? Everyone's off duty. Oh, but they're okay. So now they're back. So we'll we'll check our report. Hopefully, it's the same thing. 
We killed some goblins. Hooray. Rampaged. Found nothing. And we killed some. Okay, cool. Now. Goblin Pits of Hatred Pleats. Raise. Okay. Okay. We still have temperature turned off, I believe. Just trying to think of, trying to make sure everything is going as quickly as it can. Considering. And we might have more glass. I want, we can't retire this fortress until the throne room is done. That's a rule at least. Uh, oh, hey, look! Clear glass blocks. Okay, and that'll take him forever to do too, but whatever. We're getting there. Make a giant down vote. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going. I meant to like go out and, and take pictures, but um, we went plant shopping this weekend. On, on happier notes. So our little... And then you stopped again. My goodness. Okay. Plant. Oh, plane shopping, that'd be cool. No, I got some plants. <laughs> some flowers um so we was this level i think this was a level we're just gonna do this on so i can just go ahead and do that working in your garden do you have like a like an actual garden we just have some pots on a balcony which I, w I want more so much, but um, little indoor plants, yeah. I killed a succulent. It's been a little while, but uh, like our our apartment does not get a lot of natural sun at all, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, you gotta you gotta be picky about what plants you keep inside. Um. Monsteras are supposed to be good about being indoor. They're real low light plants. Lived in London and there were 22 stories up, no balcony. Grew a lot of tomatoes in the window ledge, yep. Oh, okay, we found a corpse. Yeah, we bought a tomato. How do you not have balconies? I've never had an apartment without a balcony. Right? Yeah, I mean, they're always small. Like, little, little, like, um, our balcony right now is like the strip, basically. It's, um, maybe five feet deep, and then the width of the living room, basically. I had a fern that was unhappy, and I crammed it into a corner behind a bin, and it was delighted. Plants <laughs> are weird.
They're just not gonna... Okay, fine. Whatever. Um, hopefully the game doesn't crash when it saves again at the end of autumn. I want to make it lovely. We have some chairs out there and a little table. Never sit there. Because it's either like super cold and, and wet and gross or it's like super bright and, and too warm to be out there for too long for like a month. So we're not we're not actually out there too often, but it is it's nice. I have like one of those little um you know, there's the real the railing and then I have a thing that hangs on the railing on the inside. I have a couple of flowers I planted in there. I'm excited to see what they do. Um de dum de dum. And then see they're fast at this part. They they seem to like the jobs that they prioritize is kind of a first in last out kind of a deal. Like the most recent jobs you designate will will sometimes be done first. You can't eat there. That's not your throne. Rude. What do you want? Export of anvils prohibited. Whatever. Um, oh, we didn't place those tombs again. Important info. Is it more? Jezebel's really good at updating me with all the important bullet bulletins, such as Rao. She's completely unconscious right now. Cancels drink, unconscious. Cancels drink, resting injury. Do we still have doctors? We should probably check. Do, do, do. We still have three doctors, holy cow. Nar the cat messages from my cat. Thought I got auto modded as Twitch. Uh, didn't appreciate about 70 semicolons. <laughs> It must have. I usually, I mean, I usually see the auto modded stuff. I don't see anything. Weird. Oh, and we were. Our wells were being finicky. I was going to rebuild one here. Cat is over here. The other one's in the bedroom, I think. Like the bucket is full. I've literally no idea. Bucket is full. Nope, nothing too explicit on the wiki about that. Um, okay, warm stone. Okay, well, there's some warm stone there. Okay, let me go down one. 
And then we're going to erase all of that. But. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, also, it's like late for you. I mean, I'm not that coherent at, at all the odd hours. I'm not coherent in the middle of the day, clearly. Eleven, yeah. Or actually, let's do. Let's go up one more, and we'll do the same thing. We'll kind of we'll find. We'll find the top. are fighting. Okay, do we still have a forgotten beast in the second cave? Oh, I saw an undead there. We're gonna have lots of ghosts, ghostly dwarven child, and Ayanu, who has 27 kills. There's plenty more to kill down there. There's like a whole bunch of ants. Here we can even see. 137 ant people. And we're still down to... We have one cave fish person. Which is manageable. Um, oh, and things are getting placed here. Okay, that's right. We were, we were trying to clean up the caves. <laughs> Look at all this. Wow. Wow, we have a lot of steel stuff sitting around. No one better be running around naked. And there goes all of this, of course. I just want the things to be made. We don't have any... Our burrow isn't on, so people aren't restricted to get here. Of course. Maybe. Hmm. This is linked, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I saw it. We're still waiting for someone to dig this as well. Oh, there's... okay. Because there was damp stone, I'm sure. Or something? Yeah. That's fine. Um, this will just be a normal stair up. And then a channel. And this is not linked, so this is. That's not built. Um, more levers. These are all being used. This is not. This is magma dump north. Cool. Are uh, here? And then that. And then we have to wait for that to be made. We're still waiting on this one. Which can be accessed, yeah. I'm still waiting on all this, too. And then... 
big that needs. Oh, but like, see this? This didn't hit warm stone. Oh, there it did. Perfect. That's actually good. So, on this level, we can go down to here before hitting warm stone, but on this level, there's warm stone here. So now we know that, like, this whole patch in here is magma. So, all we have to do is channel. And that will reveal some stuff. Oh, here we go. That was quick. The fish people are expelled. The fish people have been banned from the premises. Um, I haven't seen any get in super recently, but uh, I think we've mostly dealt with the ways they can get in. I'm assuming that's... Yeah, whatever. Just do that. Um, but yeah, there. So we've revealed all of that again. And that to the same. So we'll, we'll close this back up too. Um, okay. So the fact that we revealed, we revealed from here and there's nothing above. Oh, you can even see, okay, cool. So the, this is the top, like here, it says open space, but it's seven out of seven depth all the way around. Like here you can see there's kind of some flow in here. So this is the actual top of the magma here. Presumably. Um, and these are... We can see the rock edges around here. But it... But down here, obviously, we didn't see this far. Um, so I'm going to go up, like, even one more. Yeah, see, this isn't warm at all. That means, in theory, we can just dig across with, without getting warm stone cancellations. In theory. Um, and then, like over here, we can dig down. And then there might be something there. So we'll we'll let them we'll let them take care of that. But so far, weird building sounds. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm-hmm. Cancels eat oblivious. That's a good sign. We did that one. We did that one. So we're all good. And in theory, if we uncover more adamantine, it will tell us about it here. And that's ultimately what I'm hoping for. Because you'll end up with, like... You'll have, like, something here. Or, like... It'll be, like, you know, down here, it's it's in the middle of the magma, and as you come up, it'll be, like, half like half of it will be in the magma, and half of it will be out of the magma. And then as you come up, there'll be, like, some poking up here above. So you can harvest the stuff that's not in the magma. In theory? Uh, but you have to find it. In a map this size, we uh, at least, so this is this might be old information, but 
Um, and a map this size, you could expect, on average, like two to three veins of adamantine, at least going by the old, going by my memory. So not a ton, but each vein will have a good bit, uh, a good bit of adamantine to get out of it. Visiting erupted stalkers. The veins themselves are like. The hole inside will be like a two by two, or maybe like three by three, something around there. Um, it's irregular. It's like all jaggedy and, and weird and natural. Um, but you'll have a, you know, a center space. This is like a couple tiles, and then there's the. Okay, don't touch. Oh, mm. that's not cool. That's not cool. What is causing that? Is it because I'm revealing stuff? That can't be. Oh, I'm not a f fan of that. I should have saved. Done like a manual save, maybe? Doesn't usually matter. Doing real good today. Um, but like the, the horizontal cross section, you'll have, you know, imagine like a three by three and then like the full border around it. And then it'll have little, little one tile fingers that kind of go out maybe three or four in each direction. And it can even kind of like, it might loop back on itself. It might make little voids within itself. Uh, but then there'll be, you know, several tall. So the amount of, the amount that you can get out of a vein is, is highly variable dependent on its geometry and how it fits in with, uh, with the, the magma and all that kind of stuff. Um, so in practice, you'll get Maybe a couple dozen. If you're if you're not taking risks. And then the process of like processing it's a whole thing. It doesn't smell like normal ore. There's a whole There's a whole other uh, skill set for, for dealing with adamantine. At least processing it into a like once you get it into a a smithable thing, like a an armor smith can do adamantine armor with just their normal armor smithing skill but going from raw adamantine to wafers there's the like the the felt forgeable form of adamantine is wafers um and there's a there's a whole unique skill just for for that process uh, okay well we clearly <laughs> Really need coffins. Uh, I'm just gonna do. Let's do this. I'm gonna place these coffins. Yeah. Oh, that's not right. Cancel. Cancel. And then do that. And they haven't returned yet. Or no, they have returned. Must have just happened. It's all there it's gonna be the same. Hooray. I'm gonna not send them out this time. Um schedule. We're just gonna do off duty.
because they need to help <laughs> take out the trash. Um, speaking of the trash. There is plenty of trash. Look, look at all this. Yeah, okay. Speaking of fish people. Um, there's not too much there, but there's also this one, which has plenty. And there's just, there's just no room. Uh, dump, dump all the things except the wheelbarrows. All right, it's just the two. Um, and then same thing here. There's still a bunch of dump designated stuff here. So clearly they're still working on it. The Baron of Mine Point is fighting. You fall? What's going on here? You all just... Okay. I want the... This thing. Instruct. There. Baltig found dead, yes. Okay. Now I'm going to save and continue? No. I'm gonna, s I'm gonna save and return and then load it back up again. We'll see if that helps us get through the next autosave. I blame the demons. We've we've gone quite a while without any actual crashes. If this crashes, I'll be upset. Seems okay. I crashed once. There was one one good one that I remember, uh, like early early on, uh, but that was. It was a thing that like multiple people experienced right as the game came out, so they fixed it. There was a there's a there was a hot fix to fix it because it was an it was a common ish crash. Um, but like they fixed it, and then I haven't experienced it since. Like they they did fix it, so we don't know what this means. Okay, well that save worked. We got our <laughs> got our injured people. Are you the doctor? You are the doctor. I'm still always fascinated to see the hospital actually working. Like it took a while for like, when I first started playing, the hospital wasn't a thing. Um, or was, like, a very minimal thing. Now it's like, look, just they're just taking care of it. You got... Arm needs to be immobilized. History... Received wool sutures. Received pigtail dressing. 
Yeah. That part works at least. Just random locked stuff in the stockpiles. Ugh, and we. I'm curious if they're just having a hard time getting to the stairs there, but they shouldn't. They should be fine. Um, and right, so there's this. Um, just redo everything. It's fine. And then there was the lever. Cool. Think. No. Here. Or why was there a chalk? Saw a chalk mechanism in in there, but uh. Whatever. I couldn't see which which end that was gonna be in. At, yeah, we'll be installed at. This is the lever. Okay, so that's fine. I told them to only make Gabbro mechanisms. I don't know why someone's making chalk mechanisms. Um, and we probably undid our, yeah. Uh. Pain. You know what, we'll, we'll hold off. There's plenty of other things to be done. redoing the tedious parts and you stopped at exactly the same spot again so we're just gonna do we're gonna do this again curious if us revealing the magma is making the save be weird but that doesn't make sense I'm not uncovering anything funky here hmm Well, this is working at least. Iron gauntlets, yeah. So this should be like all the stuff that they grabbed from the cave. This is probably like the gear of dead dwarves that's been on the ground this whole time. Or something. Unclear. Are they like bringing stuff to here? Pick up equipment. Store item in bin. Low steel boot. Let's see where you came from. The queue. Store. They're not hauling anything. Now you're taking a thing somewhere else. Okay. Pick 
picking up. You are harvesting. You are storing. It's like, where did you come from? Store owned item. Oh, so you just claimed a sock? Or whatever? It's like, this isn't linked with anything. The stockpiles are weird sometimes. Uh, no, I want to be here. Because this should be accepting all of our armor. And have this one take. Gives to the melt pile, takes from the magma forge output. I was going to take from that. Gave one equipment junk, yeah. I wanted there to be a stockpile here for people to grab the junk that's in the cave and be able to ferry it in real quick, but they're, like, moving stuff from other places in the fortress. Are they taking stuff from in here? Cows... Yeah, there's... Some... Why? All the copper low boots. Okay. This is fine. This is like... It's even the same as the stockpile. You all... These aren't linked to anything. This is linked to... Output, which is this one. This is linked to a bunch of places. Yeah. Weird. Dwarves be weird sometimes. You picking up the body? No. I also find it funny when they take, like, the corpse's clothes and crowns and stuff and leave... <laughs> leave the body there forever. <laughs> yes. Quick, claim the claim the amulets. Rifle through his pockets. Under farmer, stone cutter, four. What are you doing? You sleeping? Stressed, unconscious. Sleeping in the library. I know how that goes. Eating, of course. What a mess. What a mess. I'm like, none of this is getting dug. Or placed, or anything. Just, you know, slowly. Did this get built? No. It's 
a pool of dwarf pus. Gross. Our prison is empty, which means there's probably someone who needs to be convicted. Oh, I need to re... Pull these levers, right? Yeah. Well... This is all designated for dumping. Okay, so that got dumped. That's good. Just a random right hand. Okay. Mm, is anyone gonna build the things I told them to build? Probably not. You dorks. save again so I think we're about to hit our hit the seasons change again and I don't want to lose it again so if we if we lose it then we'll lose like five minutes instead of 30 yeah, so that'll be good it's turning out to be a great episode so far <laughs> I just want to find I want to find the candy Now, if the next autosave crashes again, I don't know what that means. Can our miners please just do the things for wounds? Um. Like I'm. I'm so torn about all this. A bunch of jewels, at least. More fighting. That's cool. Everyone's just going to kill each other. Luckily, there's no voids in the middle here. But like, in here? Like, who knows what's in here? Could be literally anything in here. Wormstone. Okay. left again? Are you doing that one? 
Weird. You do you, I guess. <laughs> um. Yeah, you're just. You're gonna do whatever. Go for it, Nomar. One on every level. Very weird. And no one's doing this. Or just ignore my prioritizations, that's fine. There we go. And then you'll cancel that one, and then I put it back. Okay. Cool. Now, floor. Just keep using the granite. Probably don't need this one. Right, because... How was I doing this? I can dig here. Well, I was doing it over here. Yeah. So I want... I want over here. And this should, I guess it'll become warm here. Let's do... let's do this. Oh, okay. Come on. There. Oh, it worked. Ugh. We made it through the final boss. The corrupt saves.
So, what was I going to do? I mean, this for sure makes sense. Oh, hey. Goblins. What are you doing here? Well, on the plus side, our two goblin squads are still here. I'm going to tell them to station over here, because in theory, they still have all their equipment on. Right? They're all off duty instead of... that setting well they're all they're all naked it's fine there's not that many It's gonna take them so long to put their clothes on. I'm going to intentionally not close the trader door because I always forget to open it back up again. Hey look, a baron's gonna get murdered. Is chased off. You got through all the traps. No. Boo. Stop successfully navigating my traps. Who are you? Another Baron. Baroness. here. They haven't really gotten further than this before, <laughs> so they're just gonna wait. Here comes... It's a goblin poet. It's a visitor. Great Lasher. This'll be cool. Armed goblin poet leaving during a goblin siege. <laughs> Bye guys! <laughs> Thanks for the help. Oh, he's coming back. Or not. What? That's a tactic, I guess. You want to hit back? No, just run back and forth a whole bunch. That's cool, too. Now you're gonna leave. Poet's like, I'm out of here. Oh, and then just up to the tower. A weaponsmith found dead. Uh... Why were you out here? Is that a very nice sword just out here? It's silver, so we didn't make it. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, they're 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 getting in. <laughs> okay. Um, but you Towers of Igniting, is that one of my two? Yeah, okay. They're trying. Baroness. Baroness. Goblins, I don't have time for you. And they're all just gonna fiddle around here. Goblin representative. They're not like wanting to parlay or anything. Why do they have a representative? Other than to die. Okay, are we... Okay. This is the, the furthest the goblins have gotten in. This is like the front door. They... They still come in? Aren't they, they they're leaving there's no more no more siege <laughs> siege done fine fine you can all just go away Jeez. Where are you? Are you gonna come back in? You're just you're just wandering around out there now. Okay. Um, I should make a hot key for all the way down here. So I think this, this one, because there's, there's warm stone here because there's stuff here. If we go one above that, then it should be clear ish. Maybe we'll find out. the coffins it's all seven I guess this needs slightly higher priority let's do let's do three learned my lesson So what games are people excited about in the future? There's a couple games that are like considering playing on stream. I'm keeping an eye on um, the new Star Wars game. Advance Wars was the other one I was looking at. Advance Wars is so good. I'd have to get like a capture card to do it on stream, but maybe I'll just play it on my own anyway. Yeah, how are you liking it so far?
the originals were just instant classics. Good. Good, good. Okay. And then this is now empty. Okay. Cool. What is preventing? Here, I'll, I'll cancel it and then I'll redesignate it. I still kind of want to get the um, the Metroid Prime remake too. That was one of my favorite games. well get made it did so this well is operational which means leads me to believe that these aren't so i'm just gonna gonna remove them and rebuild them for whatever reason bucket is full bucket is full that one's fine this is I don't know. Everything's broken. Whatever. Mm. No, not that. This. Has this been done? This has been done. This is still waiting. Mm. This is still waiting. I mean, I might as well just... I was blocked at this location. It's a, it's a stupid ramp. How do I remove ramp? Who knows about this one? Why is... Why is it warmer there? to do it. Someone's got to do it. Okay. But they're doing this just fine. Yeah. Nothing like disassembling an entire well because the bucket is full. Just cut the rope and tie on a new bucket. It's fine. There we go. There. Now let's just do it again. I don't care about choosing... Well... Are they going to make it out of glass if I don't tell them? <laughs> what to make it out of? Uh, machine. Well, yes. I'll do. That's fine. Fine. Sure. See, why is there a microcline mechanism? I didn't tell you to make anything. Out of microcline.
Or maybe that's from the thing we just disassembled. That could be. Okay. And then same thing here. No, not a floodgate. The opposite of a floodgate. functional wells again. Ain't that a treat. See? <clears throat> Fine, they can have the one. Fine. That's just marble. Um, let's make a hockey for all the way down here. Okay. It looks like digging all the way across there should be fine. What about here? You're still working on it. Okay. talk about um oh adamantine one thing that i've been talking about adamantine is what it's good for and what it's not good for adamantine isn't necessarily good for everything it can be used for um mostly just because adamantine is very lightweight um, which which is a good thing adamantine can be used for for armor and it doesn't weigh as much as steel, but it I think it protects I forget how good how good it is against protection. Uh, but for weapons um, sometimes a lightweight material can hinder the effectiveness of a weapon. Specifically with like blunt stuff, like a hammer. The amount of damage that a hammer blow does to a target is dependent partly on how much the weapon weighs. And it's like density and stuff. So an adamantine hammer is actually not good uh, at killing things. I've I've heard of people giving their hammer, their like their justice person an adamantine hammer. Um it's because it's not very lethal, but uh, if you if you send someone out onto a battlefield to fight some goblins with a with an adamantine hammer, they're gonna have a bad time. It's gonna be like a like one of those little squeak hammers, and it'll they'll not be very effective. Um, but it as like a cutting thing, as a cutting blade, it's excellent. Like an, an adamantine axe is superb. It'll just slice right through everyone, and because it's light, your you know your dwarf will be less exerted when using it. I believe is how it works. So there's there's trade-offs. Um, so for like a like a hammer, you want to do something dense. I think the heaviest metal is platinum that you can use. Um, but I don't think you can use platinum for weapons directly. I know that um, if you get like a strange mood, you can get someone to make a, a platinum hammer. Someone's coming to dig this, I swear. Uh, that 
Where's that? That's... Let's do... do. Yay, more tantrums. Okay. I'm going to actually look it up and, and talk from <laughs> actual knowledge instead of what I'm remembering. Doop, doop, doop. Armor material comparison adamantine is just best. Okay. Adamantine is only found beneath third cavern. It can be used to create unparalleled armor, but is very time-consuming to produce in addition to being hazardous to mine. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, There's numbers in here somewhere. Maybe. I forgot how complicated armor is, um, but if we just go to weapons... Pipes... yeah... Huh. As a rule, if a weapon slashes or pierces, it wants to be made from a better metal and the armor it's trying to penetrate. If it is, it goes through more easily. If it is equal, it has some problems. If it's inferior, it has some problems. It does not mean that a copper spear can't hurt a superior metal-clad target. Just understand that the odds drop compared to a weapon of equal metal, etc. Get back here. Right? Yeah. It's gonna be some other person to come all the way down. Uh, let's see. Technical. Here we go. This is type. So there's, there's all these numbers. Um, so for reference, like steel is density 7.85, whatever that means. Um, and like silver is 10, platinum is 21. Holy cow. Platinum's definitely the heaviest. But it's only available as artifact weapons. Um, silver is the heaviest of the things that you can easily make things out of. And then uh, bronze and bismuth. Bismuth bronze are denser than steel, but not by much. Um, but like, so bronze and steel is around eight. Adamantine is 0. 0.2. So it's like very, very light. It's lighter than bone. It's lighter than wood. An adamantine sword weighs half as much as a wood sword. If that tells you how light it is. It's very, very light. Um, and like, there's all these other stats in here, like the impact elasticity, impact fracture. I don't know what all of these numbers mean exactly and how they're treated in the game. Um, but I'm noticing that like, steel has impact elasticity of 940, which is higher than all the others. So like. Silver is 350, copper is 175. Adamantine is straight up zero. Sheer elasticity is zero. Like sheer fracture is 5,000 as opposed to steel 720. So it's just it's just extreme in every sense. Apparently divine metal is 
very good as well. Um, okay. You dug the thing. Thank you. Finally. Go ahead and build a floor. Confirm. So we revealed very little more. <laughs> That's fine. Um, that floor got made. This is getting dug. And ultimately, we just want to just want to dig down here. So let's do like there. Sorry, I didn't find more demons. I'm okay with not finding more demons. Today we've been struggling with um, autosave corruption. So things are going a little slower today. It's because we've lost like an hour to broken saves. So that's cool. But we're slowly mapping out the magma sea. Here's, here's some of it. Because it wasn't save corruption. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was, it was auto saving and crashing during the auto saves, and it wasn't and the the save wasn't successful. So the game would just crash, and you'd reload, and you'd be back to like your previous save. So that was cool. How are you? We were briefly talking about video games that are coming out and Advance Wars is apparently good, which is good. And I'm looking forward to the new Star Wars game. Very possibly going to see that on stream. Because the first one was great. I love that one. The... Whatchamacallit? Um, Forgotten Order? That was a good one. Yeah, Reboot Camp. Yeah. JM was saying it was good. Lots of Lord of the Rings games in the works, really? Oh, Gollum, yeah. I heard strange things about the Gollum one. But it's not even out yet, so it's just people saying things. I liked um, the Shadow of War games. Those were fun. Oh, here. So this... I'm not seeing any adamantine in these revelations. But, oh yeah, okay, here. So we did, re we revealed more than I thought. I just didn't scroll down. So we peeked in here and now we've seen, now we see all of this. Yeah, WB, that was a strange move. I don't know how the nemesis thing is unique enough to be patented, but who am I to say? Like, look at this. This just, And it just keeps going down. War in the North. I... I feel like I bought that one on sale and never played it. Hmm. Where can I? So much magma. Okay. And then, yeah, someone dug that, and then got canceled the thing. Yes, yes. And then we're just going to peek in here. Battle for Middle Earth was great. I put, I put some time into that one. Well, that's what I was going to do. I want to look to see... Here, you can't see when I mess around with my stuff. Yeah, War in the North. 
I've played nothing of this? What does it say? I don't have any achievements. Yeah, I think I bought this on sale and just haven't done anything with it. Fairly gentle source material, but if you know a lot of the lore it's littered with it, yeah, that's fair. Couch co-op is probably why I bought it. I went through a uh I was gonna say phase, but we're still <laughs> we're still in the phase of trying to find all like the good two-player co-op games, because sometimes they're hard to find. Um So I just went there's a there's a website called Co-Optimus that ranks and, and reviews co-op games specifically and and like to talk about how they're how co-op-y they are what their co-op looks like so it it must have been on there or something but pretty sure that's the context of why i downloaded it is it having co-op and then i never opened it Okay. There we go. Partner love playing it. It's old now. There's a couple of glitches as the studio went bust. That's sad. Had no patches. Lots of hints at half finished maps. <laughs> Before you leave, before you leave, oh, come on. A week after Skyrim, that's rough. They had to have known. Are they thinking they could compete? I mean, Lord of the Rings is quite the IP, but Skyrim, Skyrim was hyped to hell and back. Ugh. No one's going to come down here. Hey, look at Tantrum. Okay. Um, I'm going to have this just... We're just going to dig some tunnels. <laughs> Marketing was a mess. Think they just cut their losses and released it to get some money. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Went on to do Shadow of Mortar. Okay. Yeah, the Shadow of Mortar games are great. Is tantruming, it's fine. Show me some adamantine, please. I am adamant about finding adamantine. Now that our fortress is dying. These dwarves could get their tantrums in check, they'd be a lot more successful. Yeah. I agree. I thought it wasn't necessarily a big fight. Yeah. Oh, did that work? Nope, not yet. Who's... Nope. Administrator's been possessed. That's a strange mood. 
We're probably gonna get some like macabre moods. <laughs> if your dwarves are too upset and then they go in like they get a strange mood. I don't know I don't know exactly how it works, but it's like if they'll be they'll be flagged to get a strange mood, and then the kind of strange mood they get is kind of dependent on the circumstances. So if someone gets a strange mood, but they're like tantruming constantly, here we go. Here we go. Um, the, like if, if someone's really screwed emotionally and then they have a strange mood, they might get like a macabre mood, it's called, and they might actually go kill someone to make something out of their body. It's, it's cool. Here. Yes, maybe? Raw adamantine cavern floor. Interesting. Okay, but see how it's on the edge of the magma here, which means we want to come, we want to come down here. Where is this? How far, how far down are we? We're not too far. Okay. So. In theory, is all obsidian, yeah. It's funny that it's just this floor. There's, not gotta, there's gotta be more down beneath. Or maybe like, it's just here, and just one tile of it managed to get in. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna do... I want to give. I want to. I don't want to get too close. I don't want to accidentally mine into it. But I also don't want to go through magma. Do that. So then they can come down here. And then I would also like to, like, you can see this is kind of on the edge of, of what we revealed. So we could... Bet you there's some here. And we'll channel there. And that'll reveal some more around what we have found directly. Hopefully. And that will take them a second, and we need to build a floor here before something terrible happens. No. Granted. Confirm. Thank you. I believe they thought that it wasn't necessarily a big fight, or it could have been like the Horizon series. Who would have guessed that both releases would have had to compete with a series doing sudden foray into the open world gameplay? I mean, I can't imagine they just didn't see it coming. Between like, like as like a smaller developer getting completely blindsided by something huge, like the Horizon, I imagine that that wasn't in intentional, right? Like, Elden Ring was, I don't want to say a fluke, but it wasn't like everyone was watching it and knew for sure that it was going to be what it turned out to be. Kind of, kind of blew up in, in like, despite itself, right? So I could imagine the, the Horizon devs did it intentionally-ish. Yeah, it's like a yeah niche. It's and and Horizon's much more um, mass market, right? It's it's um, it's more of a, a triple A adventure game as opposed to I don't know this this weird Demon Souls studio. But like with with Skyrim and Lord of the Rings, people at both those studios knew, like they have people on staff 
to to figure those things out because like the, the whole marketing department right the, there's no way that they had a marketing department that was just like not paying attention to when skyrim was coming out they knew like, they absolutely knew so they thought that they could steal some thunder or compete in that space i don't know But same thing with movies like movies are are like the release date of movies is timed based on when other movies are coming out not like they're working on a movie forever and then it's done and they're like okay it's done and then they like send it to the movie theaters right it's like these triple a game movies and and games they'll be done for a while i guess movies more more than games games get kind of go out before they're done these days but like a triple-A movie could be like completely finished and sit there for a month because there's a better release date in the future. Lord of the Rings franchise is going to be a bigger draw than Elder Scrolls. Like, someone thought that, right? Probably someone who knew... Like, like on, on paper it makes sense, right? Lord of the Rings is a huge IP, especially back then. Like, when did that game come out? It was... I was like... That was a while ago. <laughs> um, yeah, where'd it go? War in the North. Does it even say? I just want to go to the shop page. Is it even on here still? It's not coming up. if it's still on Steam even. Interesting. Um no oh, no there I saw the thing. Library store page. Here we go. Released in twenty eleven. So like yeah. Um, now, now that I've minimized it and seen your answer, um, right? Like, at that time, I imagine, yeah, 10 days, yeah, that's nothing. And the fact that they preempted it, like, that tells me that's intentional, right? Like they they were trying to they were trying to capitalize on on the hype for Skyrim and and kind of get their thing out right before and try to try to try to grab some of those sales. Cuz I mean, better the better a week before than a week after, right? If it was a week after, no one would have bought it. Game was a commercial failure, selling just over three quarter million units worldwide as launch across all platforms. In the UK, it charted as number thirty-eight. Wow. For something like a Lord of the Rings game, that's pretty awful. Um, did this ever get made? No. Why make the freaking walls? Hmm. Game releases are a bit like battleships. They can take a while to change direction. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, for all those big budget things, it's like... Like, I would, I would almost... Like, game design is a really fascinating thing to me. I would really love to work on a game. But, like... The environment of AAA, like big title development, is bonkers. Uh, 
like because you know that the like you your your development team is having some issue and and they're they're needing more time to work out what they're what they're working on. Oh, you're here to build it. What are you here to do? No. You're just you're grabbing you're grabbing some stuff. Yeah, like like decisions like that being made for for um, or from or by words. Decisions being made by you know, like the board and the, the the people with the money and the, the the shareholders, right? All all of those stakeholders get a say into into those decisions. Like when when are you releasing? How ready do you get to be when your game comes out? Is not a decision that's left to the people who are just making the game, right? They could all be sitting there going, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be a train wreck because the game's not done and we're releasing a week before Skyrim, but they don't have any control over it. If their boss says, this is our release date, it's November 1st, and they go, okay. Good luck. Oh, Tolkien Estate also factors into it too, yeah. Yeah, so so many stakeholders. When things get that high up, it's just so... A very high opinion of how much... Yeah, yeah, totally. I bet... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if... If the estate was like, no, you need to shut down that Skyrim stuff. And, and the people on the ground are like, what the heck are you talking about? Like, what studio was this even? What, 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 what were they doing before this game? Do they have any big releases before this? Premise is great, going on missions in like the ruins of old kings and kingdoms in the north, dropping in on Bree and Rivendell, that's cool. Heading over to Mirkwood, trying to fight the orc building strength up north. And Gunbadad and Angmar, yeah. I know some of these words. Uh, rumors are they were going to take you to Lake Town and Erebor. All the battles in the books there with the Easterlings, etc. Wow. That's cool. Oh, we're... I paused. Um, I somewhat recently, I guess it's been a while since I've been watching it, but there's a, there's a really good YouTube channel called Nerd of the Rings. I've been watching a bunch of those. Because he does a really good job of taking all the all the all, all the lore that doesn't appear in the book itself, and like all the all the Cimmerillion stuff and and all the other all the other books now. Since uh, what's his name? Oh, does he? Of course he does. Um, the son, right? Uh, Chris something. Who's been who's been putting out the supplemental stuff, um, like all yeah Christopher, um, all that stuff is super super dense and I haven't read any of it. Uh, my partner read a bunch of Cimmerillion, but like I'm interested in the lore. I think it's all really cool, but I'm not gonna sit down and read it all. So so those those videos are really really good for. Um, like finding just a little chunk, like a little narrative in the in the lore, and then following it through as a thread, that's a, a really brilliant way of of uh, of digesting it. So, like I know what Angmar is, um, I know, yeah, because 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 Sauron was was up there for a while, and he was waging war on all the other stuff. Um, the whole, uh, and I'm not going to remember any names. I just, I remember like the vague stuff, but, um, the, the whole first age stuff, like the whole continent that's just gone now in, in the, in the third age, like I had no clue that doesn't show up at all. And it like, it has no oxide table toppled by ghostly blacksmith. Cool. Um, like it has so little impact on the actual narrative of Lord of the Rings and, and The Hobbit, but 
it's cool. It, it feels like, uh, no, not Numenor. Though Numenor is also gone. Um, there was a whole other, like pre-Numenor, there was a whole other continent. Um, Arnor was the North. Which king totally screwed the North Kingdom in between the first war with Sauron, the stuff with the rings? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fi in finding out, like, like in, in the book, you get, you understand that Aragorn is important, right? And he has the, some, some lineage that goes back all the way, right? But it's not really described in much detail. So to see, like, the actual line, like, all of, all of Aragorn's elders, all, all the people that came before that that's really cool like to actually get to to get some detail on that is really cool borrow whites yeah all the weapons you pick up are named after places and the people in the lore that's cool oh look a cobalite bracelet hooray Nelusen, uh, whatever. 34,000, very nice. Encrusted with oval cobalite cabochons, encircled with bands of pear cut rose quartz, single cut morions, adorned with hanging rings of pig iron, menaces with spikes, spikes of llama bone, mountain goat leather, black diamond. Image of a great buzzard. Image of Kickrost paddle parched. Kickrost is engraving. The common recluse created by the dwarf Kikrost. So this is an artifact with an image depicting an engraver engraving another image. <laughs> uh, we'll just put that over here. Uh, and it was a bracelet. Bracelet. And no, it wasn't that one. Like, bauxite? Is that what it was? It was cobalite. There it is. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually read the book. I remember, like, I this was back in, like, middle school? Middle school, high school? So my attention span wasn't quite the same. It was better in some respects, <laughs> worse in others. But I remember basically giving up on uh, the Lord of the Rings in the, uh, the Council of Elrond chapter. Like in the movie, it's like, we gotta do the thing, and then they all go off and do the thing. But in the book, that's like a really long chapter. And I just, I couldn't do it. But then I I decided to, to give another try, so I skipped the rest of the chapter, and then I moved on, and everything was fine. Horizontal axle toppled. Don't... Don't mess with my machines. This is all fine. These are all vertical. Here, you broke my machines. Dorks. There. Resume? No. Someone's coming for the log, I guess.
Um, what was I gonna say? There was a thought in there. I don't know. Can you do it now? Why not? There's no reason for that to not work. Um, is Suspend Manager being silly? Let's go to Control Panel. And Suspend Manager. Suspend manager is being stupid. Um. Okay. No, not here. Is that a? It's a ghost. I'm hoping that our corpses get dealt with. Oh, that all got dug. Good. 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 Uh, do do. Please bury the dwarves. And then doors. Because no one likes a drafty tomb. And we turn them into tombs. There. So now probably a bunch of these are going to get claimed immediately, right? In theory. Some of them. See, there's a ghost. So that'll... And that's another ghost. <laughs> They're like... Okay. So they'll, they'll figure that out. Hopefully. How are we doing on track? Another whole big pile here. Now oh, you. Uh, that's but that's a nice one. And that one's not even. That's just here. It's not even forbidden. Someone just leaving their nice robe in the incinerator pile. That's where it belongs. Clear diamond. Okay, so this is finally being dug. Maybe. Evil. Well, at least they're working on it. Which is more than I can say for this thing. Like, why? Why, why, why? got linked. This still isn't being made. Confused as to why there's a handful of jobs that just aren't... Like this.
Ghost put to rest, thank you. Also not done. I feel like because they can get to here. This is all fine, right? There's yeah, they can just go there. This is our main stairwell. Is this someone? Someone's coming. Sometimes I have found when you're when you're digging like this, this is just oh a magma pool as opposed to interesting. Warm, warm stone. I haven't really discovered a warm pool. Um, okay, so then from here, we'll just do like... We'll, we'll hope that we're not under like an overhang or something stupid. Um, but we'll do something like that. And then we can, we can dig over. Try to get on top of this bit. Um, but, um, you can see sometimes the dwarves are silly about the order that they do things in and the jobs that they choose. So one thing that can be helpful is in a situation like this where you're trying to dig and you're way far away from your, your core fortress area, like we're, we're so far deep right now that if, if you have like a single dig job like a single one tile wide corridor that you're trying to dig or like a single stairwell and there's only one tile at a time that's accessible um okay there we go though you'll have you know one dwarf will be all the way down here and they'll be mining and they'll be doing doing fine and then they'll decide to go eat so then it they have to go all the way upstairs and then you have to wait for another dwarf to get the job for the next tile to come all the way back down. So you're, you got like these long gaps between between stuff. Um, or like in, in the case of like wormstone stuff, you have one tile that's available to be dug and then they get a wormstone cancellation. So then that tile is now no longer diggable. So now there's no tiles to be dug, so then they take a job to go to bed upstairs, and then you redesignate the. Oh, good. You really. You, <laughs> you redesignate the thing to be dug, but they're not gonna like cancel their sleep job. It's now some new dwarf has to come all the way down. Um, so sometimes things will be a little bit smoother if you have multiple things nearby that can be dug so then people can kind of hop between them if that makes sense um, a huge humanoid composed of snow it has a short trunk and a gaunt appearance it's a snowman this is in cave three Where'd it go? Is it gone already? Did it just melt?
Uh, we just don't have a ghost. His skin is white as snow. Uh, it is probably just wandered back off the map again. There it is. Go King. Don't get in the water, you'll you'll just pss. I wonder if it'll fight the other forgotten beast. There's like three question mark? Oh no. Um, oh, geez. A whole bunch of stuff got Toppled by a ghostly dwarven child, okay. <laughs> One thing at a time. Uh... Okay, so this is this is fire. Which we've seen... Before. Okay, so there's more- there's more pockets of stuff down here. Oh dear. So we were digging down, and then this tile was just open and had fire in it. But I think that will just burn itself out if it behaves the same as the other ones. Um, <laughs> we need to we need to deal with this child. I was hoping that we would be able to bury it quick, um, but we need to make a slab before more things happen. Ghost. Or did that say that there's already a slab? Because that would be cool. Make slab Moonam. There we go. I just never placed it. Um, but Dyer's shop. Yeah, look at all this. Oh, look at all the thread. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> all the just robes. Uh, clearly, they are still not being able to clear all these workshops of this stuff. Um, clothing and leather. Dyer. Then. Clothes. So two dyers, a carpenter, and a clover carpenter. Not that we really need more carpenters, but why not? Barrels and such. Um, damp stone. Oh, because now there's... Oh boy. So if this is... damp... Mm, it's gonna be a mess here, too. None of this was warm or wet. That will clearly be a thing, but that's fine, actually. What if we... Yeah, here, let's... Let's do that. And... There? Yeah. Because we should be fine there. So 
So what this is telling me is that maybe all this BS with the, the little magma and the little water pools is just how adamantine works now? Which would be real cool. I guess we'll we'll find out. We've actually seen adamantine now. Even though it's a single tile. fun with that that's fine that's fine now look okay <laughs> it's still oh geez okay Can't go up too high. Don't want to reach back into the cave. But it's interesting that there's magma here. Hmm. Uh, okay. That's just all going to be the stuff beneath. Okay, so then I'm going to take a wager that that's okay to do. If it's not, then I apologize to that miner who does it in advance. There he goes. Discovered an unusual volcanic wall studded with gems. Okay, so that was fine. Now go ahead and close it back up again. Okay. So now we have seen more. Oh boy. Hmm. Because here's our raw adamantine floor. So we want to be like beneath it. Or above it for that matter. But is this all going to be. like. This? Question mark? This is all... It's like, what's going on here? I bet you okay, so there's there's magma here. Right. Oh, and then that's wet. That's cool. This is going to all be as nasty as the stuff upstairs. Okay, that's all. Okay, and then... Okay. 
it's on okay thank you for putting <laughs> the ghost child to rest okay nighty night thanks for hanging out Yep. Oh my goodness. I don't... I don't lack. That's all. Hmm. Stop tantruming! My goodness. Okay, what about here? Grabbing a single Zircon, cool. <laughs> There's gonna be a giant pool of water here. What is it cubic? I have no idea. get down here. Yep. Okay. So what if I go down here? Nope. I want to go down... And like this does not correlate like if this goes up oh no this is microcline okay we're gonna say this doesn't correlate with one of our obsidian shafts up above all right this is all granite we would see obsidian here mica yeah and our others like there's one over here and there's one up here yeah so this is and this is in a different spot and they're they're roughly vertical like they'll wander a bit but they're not gonna they're not going off on a 45 degree angle or anything Um, where did this? Is anyone coming for this one? No. Cool. Crockstabber founded, of course. 
too many tantrums. Hmm. Like, even this is dangerous, right? Because if we're... If we're going around the edge of the damp stone, this is potentially where demons are still. So that's cool. I guess, speaking of, let's go... I have... here. This is kind of my, my gate for cave three and below. So I'm going to place some traps. Um, trap, cage trap. I have no idea if cage traps work on demons. But I'm just going to put some there. And then we'll also do some weapon traps. And of course this is... Hilarious if they did. It would be, especially if that was like the thing that was preventing us from surviving <laughs> the previous demon. Do I not have that many other oh, these are okay. Yes, yes, yes. Um I'm gonna go back to I don't know this box. Do I turn off? Is this the one? And nope. Fine. This interface is not very useful for this in particular. One. Why can't I use one fewer? Use one. No. Looked up to one. What do you mean? I can put ten in there. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's not that one. It's... <laughs> Which one is it? I don't even remember what all's going on here. There's next boxes and auto nest box. I have both of them turned on. Is that what was screwing me up before? Hmm. IDK. That's, <laughs> that's frustrating. stuff there. And then there's also over here, yeah. That got dug. But not this one. Oh, 
Okay. And this was all fine. I mean, we could try... Stairs. <laughs> Dig down. If it gets warm, then stop. Oh, but the point of, of what I was saying before with having multiple digging things going on it's just because there's gonna be more than one miner down here now so when one leaves and there's already someone down here who can like just switch over and take a different job I think that's the main benefit still slow as heck though You think we'll ever get migrants again? Ugh. And what are you? I know I told him to clean up a bunch of this stuff. Okay, I guess that's fair. I did tell you to clean up the corpses. Militia throwing a tantrum. There's much fewer corpses here than there used to be, so they are actually doing stuff. And this has some more stuff in it again. You just want them to do other things. Read life with observation. Well, the item is an image of a codex in Demantoid? Weird. Written on the item is a manual entitled Life with Observation, authored by Lacey Ismethithi. Concerns method of empirical observation in astronomy. Writing has a very serious tone, and it contains some asides related to the author's preferences. Cool. I like the idea of dwarven astronomers, considering how often they're outside. More damp stone. Look at this. There's just a whole pool of water here. Can I... I mean, with the, the warm stone at least, we can say that there isn't... Well... There's some of these tiles. Like, I, I can say that there's not magma in this tile. But if there was, then it'd be linked to this pool, and we would have seen it when we revealed here. Like here, there could be magma here. In fact, there likely is, because this wouldn't be warm otherwise. But it's not... There is... Yeah, okay. So what I should do is this. There's gonna be these tiles are gonna be a little pocket here. Hmm. Now I'm paused. Of course I am. Okay. Hopefully the save works this time. 
Magic fingers. Oh. Please no. Please be okay. Please. Please and thank you. Please? You can do it. Okay. Ooh. We did it. Okay. Can we dig down here? Kind of. What if we just dig here? Because obviously this will be warm, but that's... Fine. Or we could even do like this in theory. There's probably more junk down here. Then. Like, we want to go like this. There's no way that's going to all happen without something getting cancelled. Oh look, but we revealed here. Perfect. Not perfect. I mean, there is... There is a thing there as I expected. And there's more here. Or does it go up more? Who the heck knows? Not liking the look of this. Adamantine used to be easier to get. Oh, yes, okay. So this went down quite a ways before hitting Warmstone. Cool. So now... We're like on the edge, too. This is the one that I want to work. It's all fine. Hmm. 
I like I like picking away at this and figuring things out as I go, because that's kind of a very dwarf fortress thing, but I don't know if this is making for very good episode type stuff. Uh, so I might do some Googling and and learn some more about this between streams and see if we can come up with a good a good tactic for what we're doing here. Since we're struggling a little bit. Still waiting on all of this and all of this. And all of this. I've made a real good mess of things, haven't I? No one wants to come in here. Look more warm stone. This is a big pool of water. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything hiding inside the water and we need to drain it or something. We just drain the water into the magma sea. Is that a smart idea? is the direction. Okay. None of this is warm. That is warm because there's stuff beneath it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Expecting the worst. Pleasantly surprised. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's fine. The creature has awoken. Hello, creature. Yes. Big stretch from waking up and then coming over here to lay back down. Oh, there's some more wet. Come here. Meow. I'm surprised. We're like... It's not directly under yet, but... It's still in the... in the area. Yeah, kitty. She's just been asleep on a chair all day. Oh my god. See? Like, no warning. It's not like there was something warm that I could have not mind. You have summoned a demon. And is it spitting fire at us? Flame ghost. The heck is a flame ghost? Very large ribbon worm composed of flame. It has a square shell. It squirms and fidgets. So it's made of fire. Not necessarily spitting fire. 
So, fire has been spat. Okay, so clearly there's going to be magma here, because this was adjacent to it. Yeah, okay. Well, now that all of our squads are... I never even refilled this squad. Kill. Kill the flame ghost. It can definitely breathe fire. Is it just gonna chill down here now? No, here it comes. I guess we'll see if it does get affected by cages. Oh, it's gonna corner our miner. <laughs> Run faster! This is a dead end. You're gonna have to juke while on fire. have to juke better than that. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Now keep running. Keep keep running. <laughs> oh boy. I How are you alive? No, not that way. You fool. You absolute fool. That's a lot of fire. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you're keeping it busy down here. Now, yeah, we managed to juke again. Now keep going in that direction. Maybe you'll find someone with an axe. Or someone else with a pickaxe who can just get <laughs> lit on fire. Really? This is what you're doing now? How are you alive? Haggard, drowsy, tired. You're like... Not even that bad off. You have a lot of... You're wearing two robes and a... Yeah, your pants are on fire. Porcupine leather trousers on fire. Huh. I'm impressed, but also very concerned. cornered and die? Nope, you managed to do it again. Wow. Dwarf Pong. Gremlin. Okay. Be playing Yakety Sax? I agree. Um, and this is, this is where we were. Yep. 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 Hey, look, the king is visiting. Do you think he'll get flamed by a ghost? Since that's what we're doing now, apparently. Where do we go? We're... we're here. Haven't gone too far. I do want to hear someone play Yakety Sax on like a lute or something. 
I think that'd work well. Why? Why? Ugh. Either this this fire is real weak sauce, or this <laughs> this dwarf is fireproof. This is a this is a uh, an asbestos dwarf. It'd be cool if you like hit back or something. Have you even? I must withdraw. I must withdraw. I must withdraw. Just running. Not even trying to hit back. Oh, there's the cat. Is anyone coming to save this poor dwarf? Like our, our stupid militia. We have to get all their stuff back on. That squad's not doing too bad. Oh, there they go. Okay. Anyone actually coming, though? Anywhere? Anyone? Jeez, I forgot how far down we are. There's a miner. Another miner. There's some soldiers. <laughs> wow. There's one. It is so far down. Jeez. This is like minus 30. So it's even another 10 levels beneath our fortress is the gate. And then the stuff is happening like 80 levels below that. And that's ridiculous. Stumbling obliviously while on fire. Oh, you juked early that time. Supposedly, this can go on forever. No, oh, oh, I was gonna say someone died, but nope, they didn't. <laughs> Doesn't have any kills, not any groups. Caravan. So this flame ghost has an astonishing lack knack for music, a great ability to focus, and a sharp intellect. But she has an iffy memory and a very bad sense of empathy. Have I burned this dwarf before? I can't remember. I'm gonna do it again. Well, I'm impressed at the durability of these clothes, at least. I'm not even naked yet. Oh, here comes a soldier. 
Are you... You're here to kill, you have a spear, you have a shield. You have boots, mail shirt. Okay. The bronze gauntlets are funny, but I mean, that's like eight out of 10. Come on. Hey, there's less fire there. Is that a good thing? Soldier standing between the ghost and the miner, now behind. This isn't like a literal ghost. It's also funny that it's <laughs> it's real dead set on that miner. Um, uh, combat log. I want to see if the spear dwarf is actually doing anything. Spear dwarf stabs the goblin thief. No. Spear dwarf misses the flame ghost. Misses the flame ghost. Flame ghost pushes the spear dwarf, but there is no force. Flame goes, charges the dwarf, collides, spear dwarf is knocked over, spear dwarf stands up. Misses, misses. Misses, misses. Misses. So the dwarf is missing, and the ghost is pushing. The attack is deflected. This is weird. Flame Ghost pushes the Spear Dwarf in the left foot, but there is no force. Are we able to kill this? Mrs. Mrs. Uh... Locks the fire, that's always good. But like, hmm, that's disconcerting. I don't know if all of those misses are because it's just a really good dodger or if it's like incorporeal and we literally can't hit it. I've never dealt with an incorporeal thing in this game though before. I don't, to my knowledge, that's not a thing. There's clearly things that are not to my knowledge. It is called a ghost. I don't know how literal to take it. Or what ghost means in this context. Like, we don't ever... Like, we have ghosts. Like, our citizens could turn into ghosts, but we never attack them. We never have to fight them. Okay, now we have two here. Something got... Is that... Flame ghost shell. Ooh. Someone hit it. Uh, miss, miss. Miss, miss, miss. Militia captain punches the flame ghost in the shell, and the severed part sails off in an arc, so it is possible for us to hit. It's probably just really, really evasive. Having two people, now three people, will help that. Gone. Didn't even leave a corpse. Stunned. Okay. Did our spider scratcher already do it? Stabs a flame ghost in the body, breaking away the tissue. Wow. Good on you. You're still on fire, aren't you? <laughs> Thirsty? <laughs> you don't say? The soldiers are like, we'll let you handle it. <laughs> Where are you going? There's nothing down there. Uh, okay. Well. Cool. So this is definitely as dangerous as all the other stuff. We still haven't actually touched adamantine.
Let's go down here now. Jeez. It's pockets of magma inside pockets of magma. So, so cool. Let's get done. No. Down here. Okay. Well, that's a good sign, I guess. No migrants. say just do a little do one of those there might be something there there might not hmm And then they're all back to not doing stuff. And like, these still haven't been made? I'm seeing fewer corpses, though, so that's good. That must be where all our labor's going at the moment. But come on, build me... Build me my things. Oh, I need to... Yes, okay. Let's pull this lever. Duh. But they can get in there and dig that part at least. Don't know why that... Did I forbid? I did forbid. Maybe that will... Maybe that will help. I didn't... I mean, there's nothing over here that's forbidden. Right? Unless... That's passable. That's forbidden, but for good reason. Like, there's... There's nothing stopping you. Mm. Look, more Wormstone. Um, dee dum dee dum. Let's do like. And that's still wet. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Look at all this. Almost like this is hell or something. I mean, I can go down one level. Let's just do that. And obviously, this will all. gonna be warm.
Now where are you going? Okay. Goodness. This isn't wet. What if I do this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Nope, it was literally just one tile of wet. That's cool. That's that's expected. What if I go like up this way? Find more demons. Why is come on? Look, more broke things. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, I'm curious to see if there's warm stone here. Otherwise, we can mine out some of this. this or something I'm just I'm just trying to map this out at this point because it's so so stupid of course no one's gonna come down here now and then did this get done Nope. What about... Okay. Interesting. Uh, okay. I <laughs> don't know what to make of that. But none of this is warm. I'm just no. Uh, this must be getting towards like the actual. Don't go through here level. Yeah. Literally everything below this is going to be magma. Oh, 
but that means we can just do or let's just let's just do this we'll do that and we'll see what's under there maybe Still waiting on all those dorks. Okay. Still waiting on you. Oh, but look, these corpses are being taken care of. They are very slowly taking out the garbage. This got dug. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, doot, doot, doot. Um. If I want to smooth, then also dig. Yeah. And then still no. Still no. I peeked into something. Where did it? Where did I reveal this? Hold on. There's my stairs. Okay. Did I lose someone? So I tunneled sideways into some magma, because of course I did. Blue diamond, sapphire, obsidian floor, granite floor. What the heck? I don't see a I don't see a burning corpse in here, so I'm gonna call ourselves lucky <laughs> in that regard. It must have been here. Because this is obsidian floor and this is granite floor. Is this actually like Link? No, there's floor here. They're like distinct pockets of magma. They're up against each other. Um, well, that's all going to be warm because of that. Okay, so that's, that's less surprising, so that's fine. Does that mean we are safe here? It's like, why is this tile warm? Probably something here. It's probably a demon. And like here. Here. See, there's like more up here too. Okay, so this isn't warm, but this is, so I think we can peek down from here. So, 
also curious about all this water. Do something like that. Um, <laughs> now there's water there. Okay, but that means, I mean, can we mine through here? What is this? Ugh. Oh. Right, a man teen, praise the miners. Is it accessible or is it more junk? Where? Where are you showing me? Granite. Well, this is even two holes. Where's my... Once, like we revealed from way over here, right? Yeah. Oh, are you? No, that's open space. Good. Hopefully, you're not stuck in there. Lower. So we revealed all of this. And supposedly found more stuff. cavern floor. There's one. There's one. There's one. There. Okay, so it's like... Ugh! Creature. Now. No. So you can see there's kind of, it's coming out this way. But like, this wall here, none of this wall is. It's all just inside the adamantine, or all the ma inside the magma. And like here. But if I dig down here, it's just, it's gonna be all the same stuff. Oh look, a forgotten beast. An enormous one-eyed lemur. Thin wings of stretched skin and its appearance it appears to be emaciated. Eyes glow golden yellow. Red purple hair is very curly, but where it's deadly spittle. Where are you? You're in cave two? Yeah, cave two. That's fine. You can be in cave two. I'll have a friend even. Lots of friends. <laughs> There's a lot of ants down there still. Um, okay, so... So... No migrants. Wormstone. Cool. We're gonna call it there. Because, oh my god. Uh, yeah, so apparently all of the adamantine veins are, are locked up in these weird columns of fun things. Um, so I'm going to do some I'm going to do some research and see what the what the smart thing is to do about this, because I don't know what it is. And I could sit here and like poke at it forever, but I don't think that that's going to be very interesting to watch. So I'll I'll come up with a plan off stream and we will pick that up on Thursday.
Hooray! Um, other than that, I don't know. We we've been we were talking about other games for a bit. So if there's if there's other games that you want to see played, then didn't let me know in a comment or somewhere. Um, I am seriously considering the uh, the new Jedi game when it comes out because um, that'll be fun. Uh, other than that, it's going to be more Dora Fortress, and we're going to be doing Sekiro on Saturday again. Uh, that's been cool. Uh, yeah. Lightning Samurai. That's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I got nothing, so have a, have a good rest of your week. Stay kind.